it's Anne and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I upload fashion, lifestyle, and sewing related content. So if you're interested in any of those, then make sure to subscribe. If you watched last week's video, I uploaded the process of creating this sewing corner that I have in my room. So if you're looking for inspiration in your own sewing corner, I know a lot of people here on YouTube have a separate room dedicated to their sewing supplies. I don't have that space. So I created this small section of my room as my sewing corner. If you're interested in how I organize my sewing supplies, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I am filming like this because I don't have anyone to help me film. So let me guide you guys in my sewing corner. So this is right next to my door. My room is kind of an L shape and this is my bathroom. So let me show you guys around. The first thing you will see is this area. This is where I have my growing collection of patterns. I actually have here the first pattern that I graded on my own. Just some patterns that I bought online that I printed like this one and this one. And then we have here Basically, I am planning to create some sewing content, so I just have this in here. When you zoom in in this area, I have the stuff that I always use. Every time that I sew, no doubt, I use this stuff. So first, I have here my loop turner, measuring tape. I have my pattern scissor, my French ruler, and my fabric scissors. So I just have them hand here. It's just so accessible and convenient for me to have them in this area. Moving over to this side, here, I have this basic swimsuit block, and this is so useful if you guys are starting to make or grade your own patterns. I really, really recommend this one. And here, by the way, I think I forgot to mention, this is how I organize my patterns, this ring binder that I bought from Mr. DIY. You can buy them at National Bookstore or something. Going along over to this side, I have my mood board in here. So here I have like fabric, swatches. I just printed out like random photos and then just pushed in here like some like bath detailings that I like or some necklines that I like, fabric patterns that I'm interested in, and a bunch of my digital sketches or fashion illustration. But they're not really that good. I'm still practicing, but yeah, I have them in here. Okay, moving over to this side, I have this hanger neon light. A lot of people actually, since my last video, well, not a lot, like three people, asked me where I got it from, and I got it from Shopee. It was super cheap. It was like less than 500 pesos. I got it in the color pink. You can get it in either pink or white. Here on my back, you can barely see, but I have this print that I also had printed from Shopee but it just says mom I am a rich man and if you know you know we love and we adore Miss Sher. She's an icon. Right here behind me we actually have the wall organizer that we did on my last week's video so if you're interested in making one of your own watch my video and you'll see how I did it on the floor so that you guys will have a better view but for most of this I will probably insert a close-up clips just because this is such a small space that you can barely see what I'm talking about so here on top I have some of my polyester threads I work a lot with stretchy fabrics and I found out the hard way that I need polyester threads for those Okay, and then here on the side, I just have some of my bobbins. And then down here, we have my extra supplies. On this first bucket over here, I have extra hand sewing needles. I have pins, of course, very important. I have a sharpener. And then I have this highlighter. I have a bunch of extra needles right here here on the other side i have this almost like a bracelet i guess um thin cushion that i use so much and then i just have a bunch of pins on it, it this is just so convenient and then inside i have this on the go rotary cutter i guess and it's so small and tiny 
this actually came and a lot of this stuff came with the sewing machine when we got it so i was really lucky with that one here on the side i have this this is by far the coolest scissor that i have i use this for my pattern so that when i'm hanging it i don't have to fold the pattern like that like that's how you would usually cut cut the hole in the middle this one you can just it's like that you can just cut in the middle without cutting the sides and yeah it's just it saves me a lot of time when i'm hanging and storing my patterns then i have an extra ruler down here i have some more hanging things so i organize them with this s hooks that i got from mr diy i have the scissor just this is actually a kitchen scissor and this is the scissor that i actually started with my first day this is my fabric scissors but now i just use it as a regular craft scissor more extra scissor i have this which came in as a set with my french slash fashion rulers lint roller that i haven't even used here i have tips that i use a lot a lot of my patterns are just like smaller pieces of paper that i just tape together because i don't want to waste paper so i just have masking tape i have a push pin for my cork board my mood board i have extra tracing wheels i have a marker another one i have my extra blades for Steam Reaper. In their bucket, I have more extra stuff that I don't know where to put. So more of this S hooks, um, safety pins. I have an extra, what do you call this? Like a threader, I guess. Extra measuring tape. So that's everything in this wall organizer. Here I have this organizer that I got from Shopee. Well, on top of it, I have the foot pedal of my sewing machine that lets move her so you guys can see. I have this in here. It just started raining, so if you can hear that in the background, I'm so sorry. But I have this where I have my rotary cutter. I have another tracing wheel. This is kind of like, it's usually here under, but then when I start sewing, I put it on top so that I have like stuff that I use. That I can't hang. So I have like my elastic tailor's chalk. Here inside I have a bunch of sewing machine food. I have extra ballpoint or jersey needles and another extra sewing machine food. Here on my box over here, I got this from Shopee because I want everything just covered so that it doesn't look messy underneath here so i have a bunch of extra paper pattern but i put the ones that I haven't used up yet in this little unit over here and then all the other ones i have inside i have yarns extra chalk and whatnot in here that i don't really need I have these two boxes, but it's not really sewing related. These are like my memory box, and I just don't know where to put it. We're not gonna talk about them, but here I also keep my finished products. I started creating some swimsuit, and this is like one of my recent ones that I actually made the pattern. So yeah, it fits me really, really good. I'm super happy. I moved you a little forward because I'm gonna show you my stool. Honestly, the perfect size for me because this is a hallway as I've mentioned before going to my bathroom. I need a chair that I can just put underneath my table and then pull it when I need it. It's so convenient to have a small stool like this. When I'm sewing, I'm usually like slouched and like, you know, focused. So I don't really need like, backrest. So I'm perfectly fine with this stool so i just painted it but i'm gonna do some diy on this in the future so you check it out for that okay now going up to the table itself and she's obviously the star of the show 
she is perfect. I added some stickers on it, as you guys can see. But I'm gonna be talking about sewing machines in a future video, so make sure to stay tuned for that. Moving over to this side, I have this small bowl that I have pins, steam guide magnet, like seam reaper, and this another one of those thread threaders. I don't know what it's called, but just have it here just so it's easy and accessible. And then we have this. This organizer I actually DIY white and paper mache. I used the same technique that I used on the shelf. So if you are interested, then watch last week's video. Here I have this in cushion. So yeah, I always have this in here. I have the ruler that I use a lot. I have my journal in here. Here I have a sketchbook, those. And then I have a business notebook in here. And then here I have a bunch of the instructions for the patterns that I bought. Okay, so we are now off to the last thing which is up here. My shelf organizer that I did, she's not perfect. I have them in here because to be honest, I'm not really planning on hoarding a lot of fabrics. I can only buy a new fabric once I'm done with the ones that I have. But yeah, that's it for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed next week's video. It's gonna be another sewing related content. So if you're interested in that, then make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notification to be updated whenever I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!